Okay, raise your hand if you have a stiff neck, like all the time. If your muscles in your neck are always tight, your shoulders, there's so much tension that we face on a daily basis. And a lot of this is due to repetitive stress. Things we're doing every single day. So working on a computer, constantly looking down, you know, bending over, using our hands, we're, we're always in this forward bent position. And then think about your life and all the things that have happened over the course of your life. Maybe minor fender benders, maybe major car accidents, maybe sporting accidents or injuries, but maybe you just played sports and you didn't really have an injury, but you're thinking, you know, I mean, you didn't really get injured, but every time you step out on the field or the court is an opportunity for you to get banged around and for you to have jarring of your spine and your head and your neck, which then causes everything to tighten up on you. And so when you have all this tension and you just can't get it worked out, and I will tell people, listen, you've got to stretch every day. If you really want results, you have to stretch every single day. But doc, it hurts. I know it hurts. So you've got to get in the shower, let the hot water run on there and warm it up. And here's why. Because when your muscles are cold, and especially when they're tense and tight, and you've spent a lifetime getting that tension and tightness, and then you wake up one day and you say, hey, I just woke up with it. Just know that I laugh when you say that because I know that you didn't just wake up with a stiff neck. Yeah, you're having pain, but it's literally all the layers of an onion of your health and your body that you have laid down to bring you to present day. And then your body just couldn't handle it and you wake up and you've got a stiff neck and you suddenly think, I slept wrong. Without any consideration to all the repetitive stress, the accidents, the injuries, and all the traumas that you may have experienced in your life. So we have to get these muscles loosened up. So the best way to do it is to warm up the muscles. And the reason why is when the muscles are really stiff and tense, silly putty, <laughs> this is going to demonstrate for you. So, you know, you take silly putty out of the container and it's cold and you go to stretch it and it breaks. And that's why it, it's not comfortable when you have tight muscles and you first start a stretching program because your muscles don't want to stretch. They are literally so tense and so tight, they just feel like they want to break. So you have to keep up with it. And the best way to do this is get in the shower, you let the hot water run on you, and as you start to warm those muscles up, this is also why I always rec recommend if you do yoga to get into a really warm room for yoga because the warmth starts to warm up the muscles. And then when you go to stretch, they do that. So you get a lot better stretch on the muscle when you get it warm. So again, whether it's a hot shower or whether you are, uh, maybe you're, you're just warming up, just doing some quick arm circles, some light walking, anything to get the blood flowing and start to get some warmth to those muscles. Personally, like I say, I love the hot shower or I love a good warm, hot yoga class because you're in that heat and your muscles are softening and, they, and then you, get, you can get really, really deep into those stretches and start to make some really beautiful shifts in your muscles. But you can't do it when the muscles are cold and you try to stretch them. You've got to get them warm. So if you're somebody who for years you've suffered with a stiff neck and tension and you have woken up and said to yourself, I just slept wrong, get in the shower, warm up those muscles and just start doing some gentle side to side stretching. You can refer to a previous video I did on three great neck stretches to do to relieve a lot of that tension. So I hope that helped and I appreciate you being here. Please subscribe and I look forward to seeing you on the